Hey, welcome back, everybody. What's going on today, Todd? We, we are doing the reinstall of the spiders over the spindles. Nice. We're just kind of mocking it up into place because we're waiting on the bolts, like Greg said. So we get these into place. Then we're going to get the S cam back in, shove it in the end of the the uh, air brake, and hopefully get the air brakes mounted back into place. We can hold everything in place till the bolts come. Awesome. So let's get started. First things first. Uh, like you said, we're missing the bolts, so we're just going to mock these into place. You just. And we're just going to run two bolts in, and so we can have everything mocked just right. Earlier, like I said in the last video, my dad painted these up. Did a nice job, looks fine. And then there was a few little uh, pieces of scale or, you know, welding slag on here. So we cleaned these up nice. This is where the seal rides for the axle. So we're just putting two bolts in now just to kind of hold it square. And that will allow us to put the S-cam housing and brake pot, hang it back in because it hangs off these four holes here. So we're going to use new a uh, half inch by two inch bolts in there. And once we got that, we can slide the S cam back in and, and put the clip back on the uh, sock adjuster. This one does look like it's angled down a bit more does than it? that one. But that could just be the angle of the axle too. Well, I think if we moved it another hole, it would really put it out of... Yeah, yeah there's a big difference in between holes. Pie. See, there's there's 16 holes here and you're only using eight. So you can either, yeah. you can clock it one way or the other and it needs to be fairly level here so you can put your brakes and your S cam through here. So I think that's good. Both are up boys. I think we lost. You gotta you know what? Hang on a minute. That's uh we got a dust here that's that's loose. Now's the time to fix it. Right now. Bolts have broken the dust shield. Now is the time to fix the dust shield. You are exactly right. Because if you ever tried to do that with the drums on, it is not fun. How do we look in? Pretty square.
better. Need a bigger drill. Okay. So our 3 8 tap was missing, but most of the threads are there, so we're just running her in. You want some fluid? Put some tapping fluid on. It seems to be going fine. <laughs> Look how that made, oh, look how easy that <laughs> yeah, got, got easy all of a sudden. <laughs> so that's one. We got one more to do. We get cases and cases of cutting fluid. You better use it. <laughs> there. So we got her drilled and tapped. We're just threading the bolts back in. Little never sees, never hurt anybody. And my, my broken stick. Nice coat you got here. Yeah, I wear my best stuff. How do you think it got ripped in the first place? <laughs> If you didn't know Todd, you'd think he's homeless on certain days. <laughs> yeah. I don't drive this to town when I drive my Cadillac. Yeah. <laughs> my wife wouldn't let me. The Impalac. Yep. You go back here, dude? Yeah, it's at three. Bring the auction. Good. 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 Like an easier time on those bolts than the create. There we go. Now we can start mocking these uh, S-cam housings up. So we got these uh, brake pots and the S-cam housing bolted into place. Need two more bolts for those, for each one on this side. Like I said, we're short bolts today. It's between Christmas and New Year's, no big deal. Now we can slide the S-cam in and there's a clip that goes on the back on the far side of the slack adjuster that holds it in place and we're ready for the hubs almost on this side after we get the rest of the bolts in. So while we're waiting on some hardware for the rear end, I'm gonna go ahead and get these uh, wires for the heated mirrors pulled through. Um, first step, and I've gone ahead already, and I've taken out all the screws and removed this door handle here. So no biggie. That actually allows you to, you know, here's the wires right here that go through the window. So if you ever have to do this, you ever gotta replace your CB cable, uh, anything like that. It's really easy. Here's the hole right here into your mirror bracket You just take this top armrest off on a 379 and then your wires will be here and they go th right through to the hole here and into your dash so if you take this panel off and This panel off you can basically get all this done really easy If you don't have wires in there already, you can send a, another wire in to pull stuff through or a fish tape really simple so step one took all the screws out Took the topper off for the lock, slipped the armrest off, and now we got these wires. So what I'm gonna do next is I had this already taped on to the old wire there, ready to pull back through, but I, I wasn't paying attention and I had it ran over the front of the mirror and that wouldn't look good. So I'm gonna, I untaped it before I had it pulled through. I'm glad I caught it. Can't be perfect, but. <clears throat> When we got time, we will try our best to make things look nice. So something as simple as that, just routing it on the right side will look a lot better. So I'll uh, set the camera up and we'll get this taped on and we'll pull it through.
Yeah, it seems plenty strong. So we got that taped on. Next, we're gonna kind of just get it started. Just that should do. And then come to the inside here, and we can actually watch what we're doing as we do it. So there, find the wire here and just start pulling. And just like that, you see it's coming through nice and easy. I've already got the tape in. So that's good. We'll pull it all the way into the door first. I'll leave a little slack in case uh, so we can get it taped up good to the mirror or uh, strapped up to the mirror bracket nice and clean. So there's that and then we go inside the cab here grab a light and we'll find it. I think it's that fat gray wire I'm looking at there. In any case we will Yep, that's it there. See? And then we just pull that one through. That one's a little trickier. I don't have as much uh, leverage, but let me set the camera down here for a sec. So we'll just kind of do a pull and push. Now my tape then's starting to go through. Be careful that I don't lose it. I feel the tape coming into the dash. Yeah, nice. Getting lots pulled in. They make these wires plenty long, which is nice. They have lots to play with when you're splicing it back into the truck. There, I think that's enough. Hopefully you guys saw that okay. And then we'll see here where it plugs in. It's just, uh, looks like two bullet connectors. So that makes life easy. All I'm going to do with that is I'm gonna shorten this wire up, the new wire a little bit, strip it back put two bullet connectors on there, feed them in, and we'll be done. Okay, so now that we've got the wires pulled through on both sides, we've got enough slack on the mirror to tie those up. The last thing to do is to wire this in. And all this other one had was just two bullet connectors, like so, on the end, and they plug into the factory harness. So I'm gonna shorten up this uh, new wire here, strip it down, add my bullet connectors, and I'll plug them in, and then we'll uh, do the same for the other side, and we'll test them out.
just like that, another project done. So getting back to these rear axles here, got a little update for you. Spent a little time yesterday. And we got all the new bolts put in the spiders. They're all torqued down. Everything's mounted back up. We are basically ready to put the hubs on. And that's what's happening today. I got brand new hubs. Brand new hubs. Um, that's another thing. Like when it rains, it pours around here. But what are you going to do about it? The hubs were bad. Brought them to my mechanic. He was going to put new bearings in them and set them up and bring them over. And we were going to install them. And the races just fell out of two of the hubs. The other two were screwed too. So we decided rather than messing around, we bought brand new hubs. It was actually a really good deal. The bearings were about uh, half the price, the new hubs. So to put, spend that much money on just bearings and the studs were getting pretty war on the old hub. So we're gonna have brand new studs, all that's included, brand new bolts. So we're gonna have a pretty snazzy setup now. Like new spindles, might as well have new bearings and new hubs and let's uh, you know start off on the right foot. We've done everything else on this truck so far. So what's a little bit more? So we're gonna get to work. The next clip is probably gonna be the hubs installed on the truck, so we'll catch you there. So the mechanic just left, real good guy. He helped me with these. Uh, he wanted to install them so they were done right, so we did, and he showed me how to do it, and then I helped him, you know, button everything up. We got the hubs on, and we got the axles in. You guys ready for this? Look at that. That is a thing of beauty. These are brand new Stemco hubs, uh, new studs. Put a little bit more oil in because some leaked out when he did all this cutting. New studs, uh, new bearings, new seals, even down to the nuts and that looks awesome. So we are back in business. Time to put the brakes on. So dad showed up, I got all the brakes on. Um, we ended up putting all the hubs on. I was gonna call her a day, but he said, you know what, let's put the tires on, let's put, a, let's put one on. So we put one on and that turned into two to three to four. So we got all the tires on. And then I thought, since we had all new hubs, all new bearings, all new spindles, um, we would treat ourselves with all new wheel nuts as well. So, sorry, those wheels are really dirty from sitting outside. So there they are. And not only new wheel nuts, new tires as well. I don't know if I mentioned it in the last video or not, but we ended up going with a set of these Aeolus 8DW81 tires. We run these on our other trucks. They work really well. They're a cheaper tire, but they seem to last. They're almost a Michelin copy is what I would say. But good sipes, uh, they're winter rated. Good for the farm, but don't throw a lot of stones. And that was the problem with the tires that were on here. And they were really cheap and just not a good tire. So these should suit us a lot better. And she's rolling again. We'll just, uh, tomorrow we'll come and we'll uh, take her off the jack stands. And she's a roller again. Who would have thought in that video where I said, you know, we have a problem and what we were doing that, you know, she'd be back, back to her old, state of glory so i'm happy to be moving forward now and not backwards so the next thing probably after this video will be the hood video and uh by the end of it we should have the hood mounted and then i got a price on a new slide frame for this so we'll probably get that coming and we'll make up some new angles angle irons to mount it to the frame and you know we got a new truck that and there's some odd and ends to button up will be some more videos but yeah, anyways guys, just want to thank everyone again for watching. Thanks for all the support. You know, it really means a lot to me. It means a lot to Todd. Uh, you know, we got the odd people coming up to us in town here, you know, 
with some kind words, so that's cool too. And uh, all you loyal viewers, thank you very much. We're not doing this for fame. We're not doing this for fortune. We're doing this for fun, and we're doing this for you guys. So hit the like button. We'll catch you on the next one.